There you go. Hello, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are in the world. This is the Bobby Joe and Sheena show and welcome. Sheena, how are you doing today, my friend? I'm having a good day. And my question to some of you out there, how do you deal with a bad day? Now, when anybody ever asks me the question, Sheena, how are you? The only answer they get from me is I'm absolutely wonderful or it's a good day or whatever. I have no other answer that would come out of me. Now, you may think that that's a lie. I did actually have one client question, just going, Sheena, how can you? You know, things happen in life. And I said to her, it's not the things that happen that affect me. It's I choose to be. I choose my attitude at the beginning of the day. When things happen, then yes, of course, things are going to happen. This is life. My goodness, this is intelligence. Lots of energy, you know, going around. And it's literally sometimes it feels like it binds into each other. And sometimes you seem to like get a little bit of a run of it as well. But I can choose my attitude. So how do you deal with a bad day? Bobby oh, yeah. I'm always a work in progress. At first, you know, I was really bad and I just react and get pissed off like every other human being. But then as mindset coaches here, you know, the Proctor Gallagher Institute, and you start coaching, you start trying to walk your talk, then you start to have the awareness. Okay. You start to see the thing react, the anger come up or whatever, and you want to react. And you kind of just hold on to it and go, is this to be true? You know, you try to switch your perception about it. Like, why am I taking this personally? Okay, there's a lot of things you have to ask yourself, but it really is about being present, having the awareness, the consciousness, asking yourself some good questions. And then a good one I always like to do is like, in a year from now, will this really matter? And we just talked about this briefly, but it's also... You know, if you're if you're being so self-absorbed and in feeling into your emotions, it's good to serve. It's good to take it away from yourself because those that are most self-serving are the most miserable. So when we take it away, the thing or whatever is making us mad or whatever happened to us, if you can just switch for a moment and call your best friend or call somebody that you really adore, you know, just switch it. You just got to learn to switch your attention because you're being from the mental faculties. You're what you hear what you see, you smell, taste, and touch, so you're reacting. That's creating your bad day. And then you yeah, can that's just That's the thing, it. isn't it? Sorry, was it really no. a bad day? Or was, <laughs> it one, was it one reaction to one thing? I mean, yeah. imagine, you know, you're, you're driving in your car or something and somebody pulls in front of you and, you know, th there's just this. I mean, how long do you take talking about that? I've seen people literally talk about uh -huh. it and, that literally can ruin your whole day. And then the day goes from bad to worse to worse to worse, rather than just going, somebody pulled out in front of me, you know, um, thank goodness that there was no accident or whatever, or whatever happened and I'm still alive. Oh my goodness, isn't it a gift to actually be able to complain? I think we just love complaining. We're like human beings loving complaining. And it's just like, give me something to complain. So there's been like... 10 things happened in your day that were brilliant. Like you got up and you mm. breathed and you were, you can see and you could got a car to drive. And yes. then one thing just messes everything else up. So is there really a bad whole day or was it one thing that you allowed to react and then send that thread through the rest of the day? And the thing is right there, she said it, it's like that thing could have happened. It makes maybe it's the universe telling you to pause. Wow, thank you, I need to slow down in life. Life's passing me by, right? The decades just go by like that. Thank you, I have a car, I have my health, I have my eyesight, I saw that. There's so many things, and if you did get the accident, I know somebody that jumps out of their car like, okay, who am I supposed to meet, <laughs> you know? And maybe things happen for a reason and you're supposed to meet that person or you have to meet that mechanic who's going to you introduced to your sister and they get married. I mean, I don't know anything, but it's just it's perception. How are you looking at it? How are you going to look at it? Can't change it. Shit's already hit the fan, whatever the situation is that triggered you and pissed you off for the day. And it's your choice to change it. Yeah, it's your decision to go, hey, this is something. I have the awareness and I have mental faculties like the will and reasoning, perception, imagination, intuition. We've talked about these. If you keep listening, if not, go back. Got a lot, there's a lot here. So what is it that really, and then, then Sheena is, I'll end with that, but you're true. 
you know, and I know that with businesses that people have a good experience, they really don't say anything, but if they have a bad experience, they tell 10 people. And so it is like that. We love to talk about the negative. We love to keep bringing that story into the next day and the next day. Well, you know what she did 10 years ago to me? <laughs> so cheers to you. Think about... No, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm thinking, thinking you're finished. I should remember the pauses. <laughs> I know. I'm a pauser. I was just saying cheers to you. Have a good day. Have the awareness. Have a shitty day. <laughs> no, because that's the growth. You grow through those. Some days I've had such a bad day. I just put myself into bed at two o'clock, read a book, take a nap, take a shower and turn off the phone. I'm just done. We're human beings. This isn't always an easy experience, but if you tell yourself that and go in the pity party, then you do. But usually you have to pull on your big girl pants, go outside and serve somebody else and you'll feel a lot better. Go see a homeless person or something and you feel like your life is not so bad. There's always, some, there's always somebody worse off, isn't there? But that's absolutely true, Bobby Joe. It's, it's not just about, you know, switching it and just going, oh, well, I can't have a bad day. You can have a bad day all you want, but it's acknowledging how you feel. It's not the day. The day wasn't bad. The day was just doing its own thing. Like, you know, it's but it's actually came down to how you felt about yourself in that day. So what I do in the morning is I literally decide how I'm, Bobby Joe used that word as well, decision, decide how I'm going to feel today. And <clears throat> whenever I get into bed tonight, that today was a good day. And it's not dependent upon anything that happened. That doesn't mean to say that I won't have a low mood, um, but my attitude can still be good, even in a low mood. But it's acknowledging and accepting myself in exactly the place that I am. and not trying to beat myself up and not trying to go, oh, well, I shouldn't feel bad feel bad it doesn't matter it's it's the resistance to it if you were but you know i shouldn't be like this and then you just end up getting yourself all in a twist so have a bad day all you want you know as bobby joe says get and have a duvet day who cares now and again my goodness i mean but there's going to be a time where you're going to get fed up with yourself and you're fed up with your poor me stories and as bobby joe says you know you have one bad thing happen you tell 10 people but you don't tell anybody your good stuff you know so um start with yourself Start there in the morning and decide how your day is going to be, how your attitude is going to be. And I guarantee you by the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what's happened. Everything could have fallen apart, but you still love yourself and have gratitude toward yourself. It's work in progress, that is. I mean, it's absolutely practice, 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 practice. Yeah, and, and it always is, tell you the truth. You don't stop brushing your teeth because they're clean once. And same thing with your mindset. Practice, practice, practice. Go back and we had a few days ago, what, lesson nine, we did an attitude one, your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. Go back and listen to us. Like us, subscribe to us, tell a friend about us. We're not going anywhere. We're here. Just two friends having a conversation every morning, every afternoon for Sheena. <laughs> Have a great time and we'll see you next time. Let us know what topics you'd like us to cover and we will cover them for you. Toodle bit. Cheers. <laughs>